the Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Good evening and welcome to the Brothers of Liberty. I am the younger brother Brian and I am here just like we always say to remind you what true freedom is and ought to be. Tonight I want to talk about China. What most people don't realize is China is not an ally to the United States. It is an enemy. First off, they are a totalitarian communist country, and they would like nothing more than to be in charge. Xi Jinping has made this abundantly clear in how he runs things. And how he does things as far as making treaties. We may not see it, but China is expanding its power as much as it can, mainly through economic pathways. They aren't using war just yet to get what they want, but they could if they wanted to. One of the biggest problems right now is what they're doing with Taiwan. China seems to think that they own Taiwan when Taiwan is its own independent nation that was created after Mao Zedong took control of China in the 1940s. China has been, I would say, showing off its military arm pretty much to Taiwan, flexing its military muscle pretty much to scare Taiwan. And if China does attack Taiwan, we could see ourselves in a war with China. So we have to think of the real possibility that America and China at some point in the future may end up fighting each other. Our friends, the Australians, We've already gotten to see a little bit of what China's capable of economically as they made many different uh, economic treaties with China as far as free trade. And then China decided that they were going to pump money into their politics. And when Australia fought back by stating that if any country was going to put money into their politics, it would have to be transparent. China started to put levies on Australian goods that were being imported, such as wine and cotton. Funny enough, they didn't do steel, though. They decided not to do the steel because they need that Australian steel. Or they need, well, not steel, but iron. Uh, forgive me. Um, they did not put the, the levies on the Australian iron ore because they need that iron ore for their steel production. But wine and cotton were one of the biggest things that was done as well as barley. What we're dealing with is a nation that is willing to use its economic power to try to get other countries to do as they want. Xi Jinping is a dictator. He is definitely not someone who will just lay aside what he thinks should be done. Instead, he uses as much bullying tactics as he can to make others do as he wants them to do. And unfortunately, we need a president and a government that is going to take on China and be a lot tougher with them than what our current administration and current government is willing to do. We've been sleeping on China and we've been allowing them to do what they want. It's time that we don't allow them to do it anymore. They have taken areas in the South China Sea and planted bases 
<laughs> and listening posts all over in international waters. And they continue to do so. And they, can, and they tell ships and aircraft that are using these international waters that they no longer can use it. How much longer before they actually attack a ship or they attack an aircraft? We have allies in that region, Japan, Australia, the Philippines, Taiwan. If we are going to remain a leader on the world stage, we are going to have to confront China. Foremost, I believe we need to confront them economically. A lot of businesses from the United States have their factories in China. I say any business that has factories in China, we, and they claim to be United States businesses, we start levying on the goods that they send from those factories back to here. We also need to levy onto China any imports that we do from them. It is time that we start working with Australia and our other allies who have things that we can use. Start strengthening our trade with our allies and phasing out China completely. Only then can we be able to say that China is no longer a threat. But as long as everyone keeps buying Chinese-made stuff, as long as companies that are supposed to be United States companies keep their factories in China, they will be a major threat economically and now militarily. This is a sobering thought that we could have a country, a nation that could best us economically and militarily and is going to be at its current rate of growth, the next superpower, if not already having reached superpower status. We need to do something about it. We need to tell our government to do something about it. Because like I said, China's not our friend. They're going to do as they wish. And I think we need to start looking to see if they've been putting money into our own elections like they did with Australia. Because if we have foreign interference, as the Democrats stated, that happened in 2016. I don't believe in any foreign interference. So we need to start doing investigations into is China pumping money into our politics and our elections as well. And let's see what it brings up. We need to fight China. We need to stand against them. Or they will become a powerhouse that is unstoppable. This is my opinion. Please let me know your opinion on this situation with China. Like, share, subscribe. Also, if you want any topics, please contact us. Brothers of Liberty 76 at gmail.com. Let us know what you want us to talk about. We will be glad to listen to you and talk about those things. This probably won't be my, this is my first, but definitely not going to be my last video on China as they are a, a, a topic that needs constant watch. Thank you once again. I am the younger brother, Brian, showing you what true freedom is and ought to be. Thank you and good night.